16. Right now he's measuring to determine where the uh, sink bowl will go. So he is tracing along the bowl and then he will step in about an inch to cut it out. I want to make sure it had room to move a little bit. Go ahead and drop it in there. If we get ready to line it up, we'll have to just. There's what it should look like. Where should really go? Mm. Sink number two. Of course, this is all going to be epoxied. It'll be a totally different color. Love it. Gonna look good. Thanks to my contractor. Yeah, right. <laughs> Poorly paid contractor. <laughs> okay, so here I have done two coats of a bonding primer. And so I did the first coat, let it sit, sanded it with 220 put another coat on and then I took spray paint and I basically just fogged some areas of in it and this is just in case when I do the epoxy especially on the edges if some of the color doesn't roll over it will still have some color on it mix in the epoxy making sure it's nice and thoroughly mixed before we separate it out and add our color. Okay, Rebecca is mixing her colors. She's adding a little color into each one of those. She's taken her A and B mix, mixed it thoroughly, and then poured it out into individual cups, and she's adding her color to each one, and she'll stir that. So when she pours it on her countertop or her vanity top. Oh, Rebecca. Here's Rebecca's motorcycle there in the background. Okay, she's got them three mixed with a little color in them. She's got two more to go. She's got her paddle stick. She probably stopped and built her a gingerbread house out or something. Some on her side time there. Okay, she's got her colors all mixed up and now she's gonna start pouring. This is where it gets interesting because she just does her thing. Just pours it anywhere and everywhere. Hmm. Oxide. Slide over here where maybe I can see a little better. So she's got some white dumped on her vanity top and that's her backsplash. She'll dump a little on there. Let the extra run out. Okay, now we're going in with another color. This looks like white, more of a white than what the other one was. I'm looking for kind of a marbly look, I believe, but it's done. With what colors, babe? Grays and blacks? Um, so right now I'm going in with a pure white and then a white that I just Like a very very translucent white because it'll show up differently this is kind of a shimmer 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 and shake okay now she's got three colors on there so far. And what do you got? Two more colors to go? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna melt this first. 
Sometimes she uses this spray paint here to mix into it, stir into it for colors. It's a pretty interesting process. White? Okay, folks, I gotta stop first. Hang on. Oh, wait a minute. We got some action going on here. We gotta get first. Okay. Turn that on and click the button. Turn it on and click the button. You cannot turn it on. Share the gas code. Sometimes the simple things in life are tough. She's heating it up a little bit. That will help it level out more evenly and blend together. This will soften it up, help it flow a little bit. And probably burn the house down in the process. Hey, now more video. Watch your mouth there, woman. Okay, we're back. I mixed up some more of the white and I don't know what color. Here we go. Just pour that all around. This is a different shade of white. It doesn't have near as much of the white in it. She's a little sloppy when she does this. And folks, how do you like our stands we got? We got Campbell soup, we've got tomato sauce, we've got diced tomatoes, but hey, <laughs> yam spies. So again, I'm just kind of melding it. You can chop this with a brush. You wanna get your edges, because if you watch the videos, epoxy likes to go where epoxy already is. So you see how she's starting to get some color blend there? All these different colors of whites and a little bit of, just a tad of, it's like a brown in it, babe. It's actually a, um, no. No, it's not a brown. Yeah, it's a brown. Brown. Yeah, it's a brown. Yeah, it's a little gray in it. She did spray just a tad, like this one over here is not done yet. You see that in spots? That's actually black paint she sprayed on with a, before she started. This is what the other one looked like before she started. And so anyway. About how long does it take just to finish running, babe? Hours. There you go, folks. This stuff will keep moving for a couple hours anyway. Which We've got a lot of working time with this stuff, which is why I like See how the colors are coming together there? It looks fabulous already. And now she's taking her stick, uh, popsicle stick there, dipping it in, what color is that babe? Kind of a silver. silver. And dragging it through to give it that stone look, I guess, or marble look. More than marbly. More than marbly. Just marbly, marvelous, marbly. Now here's where it gets kind of interesting. Kind of cool watch. You will spray her tongue suppressant. All kinds of names for that today. And drizzle that black paint in through that. Just a gray spray paint and spray it all in spots. Now she's going to do another color. Mm -hmm. 
you drag that through there and you're creating ripples in it and it will blend back out when it levels itself back out. her knife and she had this black color that she just kind of drugged through it. See the spots there? There. Yeah. Anyway, coming together. She's adding some more color to that. What you put in there, man? White to my silver and make it lighter. Lighten up the silver to give her a little bit more of a, have another color. She's just pouring on. knife out again, one of the special big tools. You can get them at Costco. They're in the mega panty top section. Boy dog, say hello. Let's see how these colors are blending together. We got some big air bubbles we'll have to get out here in a second with the torch. Put a little heat on it and it pops an air bubble right out of there. Still blending the colors. This is the one that has the diamond dust in it. She'll mix a little of that in and gives it a nice sparkly shine. I like to do that at the end too for my top coat. Yeah, on the top coat. See, she'll have to put a clear top coat on this when she's done. We'll have any color in it at all, just be a top coat. She'll take some of that diamond dust and put it in that and it gives it a very nice sparkly shine. Okay, she didn't really like the color when she got there, so now she's added a bunch of white, a little more silver to get rid of some of the black. Oh, she's gonna have black too, so I don't quite understand what's going on then because it's got all the colors. 
It's got too much of them colors. Now she's got more of them colors.